it's relatively empty. Security was super quick as well. We did have a bag malfunction in front of us, so it took a bit of time, but yeah, here we go. Headed to Disney World. Woo -woo. Found my gate. It's looking very empty in here. Aloha guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel, Mermaid Nina here. As you can probably tell, I am in the airport, woo woo, on my way to Disney World for the 50th, so excited. Uh, for those of you who might wanna know, the airport is uh, rather uh, slow today. It's not very crowded at all. Um, security was a breeze with the exception of someone had an issue with their bag ahead of me, so it stalled everyone else's bags but yeah so so excited so follow along as I head to Disney World today we are headed to Epcot later today and we do have dinner over in the Mexican pavilion so yeah come along let's travel to Disney World Woo. here we go
Not only are both class B parks attractions, but all of our parks, our restaurants, our retail steps, and of course our parks and culture. We are glad that you are here and we hope that you enjoy the Mando experience. All right, here's MCL right now. Kinda empty. The lineup isn't that long. But I gotta get my luggage. All right, here's the line for Magical Express. Not too bad, actually. See how long it takes to get our bus. All right, here we go. Wait was not long at all. I am bus number six, but there's hardly anyone here. So let's go. All right, I didn't wait at all. They just took me right to the bus. Here we go.
All right, here we go, headed to the bus stop. We have this beautiful little trail here that you walk. It's very well themed. Our room is actually right above us, right where I'm filming, that's where our room is. Look that they cool these uh, carvings on the wall here. I hear a bus coming right now, let's hope it's ours. Oh, look at how cute this bus is. There's boarding the bus rules. Nice. I love these fun little zone signs that they have here. So you know where to sit. And everything's in the shade, which is lovely. And then of course you can see uh, when your bus is from these updated signs. Two minutes I'm being told, awesome. Very peaceful wait here. Mickey and Minnie, they're out here right now. Hi friends. Go ahead and place your finger on the plastic new. Yeah, we brought it back recently. Perfect, have fun. Try that one more time for me. All right, look who I found. Bye, baby. He's so cute! <laughs> and then of course there's Mickey!
inserting them into the buckle on your plate. busy at all. Alright, Frozen is at 30 minutes and it looks like they have their lightning lane up.
right, well, we're sitting here waiting for our yummy dinner reservation over here at San Angel Inn. I am sure I am saying that 100% incorrectly uh, here within uh, the Mexican Pavilion, but we've only been here about two hours and we have knocked out so many rides. Most rides were 10 minutes or less. It has been an amazing journey to be here right now. I can't even tell you how low crowds it is. Let's see if tomorrow changes because tomorrow's the actual 50th. But we have ridden everything just walk on. It's been ugh, so great. But anyway, I am hungry because I had to skip lunch due to the flights and everything and the craziness that happened. So yeah, I can't wait to get some yummy vegan food on. So yeah, let's, uh, let's see what I get. right here. I have to check that out. But yeah, it's very peaceful in here, very dark. We waited an extra 10-15 minutes to get a water view so we can watch the boats go by. Here they come. We're starting things off with a complimentary side of chips. I'm afraid that it's super dark, but these are delicious chips. They're very corny, as my uh, friend over here told me. She's lifting the chips up for me. But I love that they gave us fresh salsa, but it's not just that they gave us fresh salsa. They gave us each our own, so we don't have to worry about, you know, sharing the dipping, which I, um, I love and I appreciate. So yeah. All right, so of course we are at our seat. I just talked to the chef, who I did call and talk to prior to this visit. He is making me vegan enchiladas, OMG. I can't tell you how long it's been since I've had an enchilada. So I'm gonna get a combination of probably refried or black beans, all vegan and dairy free, along with some uh, rice and then vegetables that he's gonna somehow stuff and, and put enchilada sauce on and ugh. I am so excited to try this out, I can't even tell you. One thing to note, although he thought he could get vegan or dairy-free cheese, he couldn't tonight. So I will be eating a cheeseless enchilada, so that'll be interesting to see how well everything kind of ties in together. But I can't get over how amazingly delicious these corn chips are. They are just like... I know, you're probably like, Nina, it's a stupid tortilla chip. No, these are divine tortilla chips. Absolutely in heaven right now and looking forward to my enchilada. So yeah, stay tuned. All right, our food just came out. Sorry about the weird uh, shadows here. This is a chicken dish. Looks like we've got some corn down here on the bottom with some cheese. It looks very scrumptious. And over here are my enchiladas, veggies, rice, beans. I got some plantains over here, some salsa with some guac, some cilantro. Yeah, pretty exciting. Can't wait to dig into that bad boy. playing, enjoying themselves. We got about 30 minutes more to go. Area is already completely filled with people, so it's one of those things you do have to arrive early. But hopefully, I can film this really well for you guys. So yeah, stay tuned. Harmonious is up next.
The world is alive with music. Voices calling out in search of one another. We find each other in song. Well, my day is officially over. Sorry if I look a little tired. It's been a long travel day. Uh, let's see, flew here, got to my resort, took the bus to Epcot, went on several rides. I can't even. Spaceship Earth, uh, find the Nemo ride of the seas, Soarin', uh, we did Frozen, Three Cobleros, I can't even remember. Then we ate um, inside the Mexican Pavilion. Uh, the food was good. I think my food was a little too spicy for me, unfortunately, but it was really, really good, and I just ate a lot on those chips, which I should not have done. Uh, my friend who had the chicken said it was one of the best meals that she's had on property. She hasn't had a meal like that in a really long time. So yeah, thumbs up for that restaurant, 100%. And then we were able to score uh, Harmonious which was pretty great. I will warn that you do need to try to get a good spot. Our spot was kind of blocked a little bit by trees and a few things, so when the fireworks did go off, it was kind of blocked, as you guys will see in the video. As a whole, I thought it was a good show. I loved the cultural mix-ins. I really loved the way it uh, kind of moved and elevated and, and shot water up into the sky. It was had a lot of really cool 
effects. It is not the same thing as a fireworks show. So you can't really compare it to a fireworks show like Happily Ever After or Wishes. It's kind of its own thing. But I do think it was better than Epcot Forever. So that is a plus. But it's been a long day and we have to get up early for the 50th in the morning. So I'm going to say Mahalo for watching guys. As always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If the subscribe button is red, please click it, turn it gray, hit the bell icon for notifications, like this video and comment. What, uh, what do you guys like to do on your travel day? Do you just, just, you know, hit up the pool and go to a restaurant or do you guys try to hit the parks? We are trying to score a bunch of things in a short period of time. So yeah, going to the parks it was but let me know what you guys think of harmonious as well but as always guys mahalo for watching nina out Bye.